I could easily go the rest of my time here in Busan without actually eating anything. I can go back to the ship and stuff myself if it came to that. But it seems a shame to come here and not eat something relatively local. Unfortunately, this place here, there was a fellow at the window who opened his window up, looked at me judgmentally as if to say, what the heck are you doing here? We closed it up, at which point I'm just kind of like, I took the hint. All right, you don't want me here. Fine, no problem, I'll go. Take my money with me. But I'd already seen this place, which I'm sure every Texan is looking behind my shoulder and going, you're kidding me. Yeah, no, I'm not. But I've got to admit, it gets my attention. I might just do this. It turns out the Koreans seem to like their beef. And their hamburgers. I just saw another place right here, Viking Burger. So there's something we said for it, I guess. On top of the uh, copyright strike on the name, they do make some pretty bold claims here. It'd be interesting to see whether they live up to it. <laughs> wow. That is really saying something. I did also have a fair amount of trouble with the kiosk because I can't read a thing and I'm just picking the pictures. I'm hoping this works out, but uh, I have no idea what I really actually selected. Basically, I think I've ordered a fairly large burger with a drink and um, a small side of uh, chicken, but uh, let's see what it actually turns out to be. Well, my order's come in, and holy crow, is that a big burger. Um, I still don't know what's on it. It looks like some kind of cream corn, honestly, which got to be really strange. I'm not sure what to make of the chicken. The only thing reassuringly familiar is the Coke. Let's see what this is like. All right. I have no idea how I'm going to actually eat this because it's so thick. And the sauce is just oozing out. Fortunately, they have forks here. I think I might just take it like this and go, oh my goodness, it's an omelet on top, I think. This is egg. Yeah, I think there's egg in here. It's a souffle. There's corn as well. Yeah, corn pudding? say that I fancy the sauce. It's kind of sweet. It's also kind of spicy. I, it just, again, it's a, one of those sneaks up on you type of thing. I mean, it is very different in that respect. Well, there's a lot going on in here. You've got sauce, you've got this egg thing. Oh wow, that's hot. That is hot. It is. I won't say it burns your hands, but it's not comfortable to hold by any stretch of the imagination. And that's setting aside the fact that it's a mess. Let's try the chicken. Let's see what that's like. The Korean fried chicken is really very good as far as I'm concerned. This looks a little bit more like standard deep fried stuff. So Let's see how this works out. Oh, they're a little bit big too. I'm not gonna pick these up all at once. It looks like a very garlic butter sauce. At least I hope so, because I happen to like garlic butter sauce. If it's something different, well. Now, I'm pretty sure that's what it is. Very garlicky, um, creamy rather than buttery, spicy, and just a bit of sweetness too. It's wow, and the spice really is there. Anyway, it's very hot. I mean, it just came off the grill, so I shouldn't expect any better. Um, so. No point in complaining. 
as to what it is. Mm. A lot of fine meat as opposed to white meat. I'm a little darker than I'm used to, which is fine. Um, I happen to prefer white meat, but you know, it's chicken, it's good. The sauce is really lovely for what it is. Um, and then I get better than the special sauce on the burger, or rather on the omelet, because I haven't had the burger yet. Now let's see if it lives up to its claims. A lot of lettuce on here. That is going to get covered up. Yeah, I still barely got a bite of beef there. Ordinarily, I would have taken the tomato off, but if everything else is going on here, it'd just be too much hassle, honestly. You know, I still can't answer the question. Is it the best burger I've ever eaten? Uh, probably not. At this point, um, I have yet to taste the burger. There's so much else. It's, it's drowning. There is so much going on here that it's drowning out the burger. And I realize that's their prerogative to load it up. And whatever I ordered, you know, had this omelet on it as well. So I shouldn't be terribly put off by that. But it's like there's so much. Okay, that had more just the beef and the omelet and a lot of sauce. And again, it's still... It's tasty, but it's just like, there's so much going on here that, you know, to talk about the burger itself is to just, you know, like, where is it? And there's no question. Where is the beef is answered. There's plenty of it. They're not, they're not skimping on the burger itself. And it's just that there's so much else they've put on here that it just kind of disappears under it all. Yeah. Well, you know, you know, as burgers go, it's not overly thick where you can, uh, you, you know, you see the red in the inside or anything like that. This is a fast food burger. It's not crispy on the outside with the Bayard reaction and so forth. So it's more a matter of personal taste than anything else. I think this is well done, honestly. I, not, not well done. It's, I can't tell you. I'm more like um, uh, medium. Um, because it's it's not a lot of there's not a lot of pink left on the inside. Uh, but it's not burnt to a crisp either. So I think this is uh, properly done, for lack of a better thing. Um, but, again, it's covered up by right? so much else going on. When you eat it, the, the beef by itself, it is very good. Um, although, again, some people prefer a thick burger, some people prefer it crispy on the edges, and, you know, this would not please them. And then there's the special sauce, which is just here in abundance. Even if I really liked it, um, I can't say I finished it all with my hands either. I mean, it's acceptable. And the spice has a certain, I suppose, Korean flavor to it, if you will. Um, I 
And the addition of a corn omelet on the top, it's just, that is, well, unique doesn't begin to describe it. Is it the best burger that I've ever had? I don't think it's the best burger I've had on, my, on this trip, but it's, <laughs> it's good enough that they can try and get away with that little boast. It's not like anyone's gonna sue them for it any more than what a burger is gonna come after them and say, hey, wait, you nicked our name, or five guys and say, you know, you, you nicked our design. I think they have more to worry about than their slogan. It is a good burger. It might even be a great burger, but uh, again, I had to load them up with so much stuff that you kind of lose it, I'm afraid. Now I wonder what the Viking burger over here, a couple doors down has got to be like. But, you know, there's only so much time and so much stomach I have for that sort of thing. Yeah. It's good. Maybe not the best ever. Like I said, maybe not even the best on this trip. Because, you know, in and out burger. It just, it, maybe it, and even that might just have more cachet to it because of um, what it is and all that. It may not be as good as I give it credit for here, but you know, gotta have it said that uh, this isn't half bad. So, for a little hole in the wall place that's stealing someone's name and someone else's uh, decor. It's not a bad burger at all. It's pretty good. I just wish they didn't try to bury it with so much else going on. I'm actually going to finish this before I shut this off. If nothing else, my fingers are a mess, so I can't turn the thing off. And the tomato absolutely disappears. Which, considering I don't like tomatoes on my burgers, it's just as well as far as I'm concerned. I apologize for eating with my mouth full. This is the only way I could really react to all this. Unfortunately, I feel like I took out that cash to no avail because this is one of those places that takes plastic on their kiosks and that's it. I've got two more days to spend all that. And I'm not sure what I'm going to be spending it on. Yeah. Let's try one more bite. The chicken. I like the spice. I like the garlic. It's still a little sweeter than I tend to like. It's acceptable. Anyway, that's pretty much it for me. I'm not even gonna bother trying to cook because, you know, not on camera. Y'all know what Coke tastes like. At least it better taste like that, otherwise it's gonna be very disappointing. But um, I'm gonna let you go and finish this off and uh, I'll talk to you later. So until then, uh, keep an eye on me, honey. Wish me luck. I'm gonna need it. And I can see why they uh, offer those wipes these days, too. As I said, they're a bit of a mess to eat. But uh, it's not half bad. It certainly had worse, but uh, I've also had better, I think. Heck, I think I've had better at Whataburger, but uh, not a bad meal and uh, something you can do when you're here.